And the fifth one. This is the number one thing that if a guy finds out about this, if a guy tests you and you fail this test, you can pretty much kick any respect that you, he's gonna have from you in the future out the window. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Alex, your toxic dating coach. And um, today we're gonna talk about how men test women, okay? Because you may not know this, but people are constantly testing you. Um, and the reason why is because of three laws of human nature. The first one is that people will attack you if they think that you're weak, okay? That's the first law of human nature. They will attack you if they think that you're weak. The second law of human nature is that people will sense your weakness through your subcommunication and the things you've done in the past. And that weakness comes across through over um, smiling a lot, backing down in the past, um, letting people play you, letting people get away with things, right? They use that to assess whether or not you're weak. And your subcommunication, like I said, right? I'm, I'm, I'm signs of trying to please, um, which I pretty much talk about a lot. And the third law of human nature is that people are after the easiest win. Um, they would deter from you if they sense that, that, if they sense you will harm them in the process of trying to take advantage of you. So if they can sense a little bit of threat from you, if they sense that you could possibly um, retaliate and hurt them as much as they hurt you, they're not gonna, they're gonna back off. And backing off in this instance, in terms of dating, is them losing interest. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, some people are just there to take advantage of you, and if you don't let them, they just leave, okay? And that's how some of them test you, but we're, <laughs> let's not get too ahead of myself. Um, so let's begin. By the way, um, we, had a, we, we, we were gonna have a seminar yesterday in Miami. Look, people, I, I really apologize. This is the first time. This is actually the second time. <laughs> um, I had to cancel the seminar because this whole fall, I'm rescheduling the seminars because my job, my 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 school schedule is just so overwhelming that I'm not gonna do it. I over I underestimated how much how busy I was gonna be. Okay, so I'm sorry about it. Um, I'm still gonna go to Miami and and LA, Texas and Chicago. Will, will ha you guys are gonna have to wait? I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna go to one city per month. So uh, it's gonna be um, the next time I'm going to Miami again. Um, is going to be on the 23rd of October. So on the 23rd of October, we're going to have a Miami seminar. I'm going to give it a name. Let's get, it's going to be really good. So um, if you purchase a ticket to the Miami seminar, you either get the refund or you can wait till I, I come next month. Okay. So um, let me know. So so now, now that we got that out the way, the first one is this, okay? Early sex. Now, you, you guys might hear me say all the time that guys will not judge you based on sex, okay? But this is more historically, right? Back then, a lot of the... Re uh, back then, and this, this is... It sounds dark, but a lot of the ways that women got impregnated back then was through rape. That's just a fact. I mean, it's just... Throughout history, one of the ways that guys got women was through rape, unfortunately. And... What <laughs> actually let me read it to you because it's actually better if I read it rather than me actually <laughs> explaining it wrong, right? Um, so it says, um, 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 this is from a book called The Moral Animal. It says, um, these are my notes rape is a common form of impregnating, so the woman who resists the best gets the best rapey genes, just like sperm that get killed off on their way, um, to the um, to the rapist. You want the woman who is able to resist the most. Um, it's a it's a good trait. It mean you get what I'm trying to say. Like if you're a rapist, and it sounds crazy. Like seriously, but if you're a rapist, you want the woman who who resists the most because she, because she's the strongest. You get what I'm saying. You don't want the woman who easily submits because she can possibly um, 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 pass on genes of being submissive. You, you get what I'm trying to say. So um, so other things that a man will encourage early sex. To see a woman's resistance, okay? To get it to this modern era, to see a woman's resistance. If she says no, it's a good thing. If she accepts, she fails, right? So, guys back then used to test you by trying to have sex with you. And that's why guys will have sex with you and then judge you. It's because that's actually something that comes from back in the days that if a woman doesn't resist hard enough, it just means she doesn't have good genes. A guy wants a woman who resists, a guy wants a woman who's strong. 
A guy has, has wants a woman who can control her emotions. Now, in today's society, this doesn't apply unless you're religious, okay? This one does not apply. I, I just gave you guys that one because that was actually one of the biggest things that people do um, to judge people, okay? Um, again, it doesn't apply as much as before, okay? Now, if, you, if you're banging the whole football team, okay, then that's different, but it just, it just doesn't apply. Um, because a lot of times, we live in societies where people don't even know us. Back then, if you did that, somebody would have found out. So, so it's kind of, it just doesn't apply that much today. Um, and because of the politics today, um, we, they're encouraging women to have as much sex as they, as they want, and female empowerment, which, which is it's, it's totally fine with me, but that it's just that one rule doesn't apply. So what's the, the second thing that guys use to test a woman? They will look for signs of weakness in the past and see if they could, they could exploit it. So as you're talking to them about your relationships, some guys, if they notice that you dated an abuser and that you stayed with them, they're going to say, I could, I could use that against her. If they notice that you're somebody who, who is easily manipulated by you telling her how your husband or your ex-boyfriend used to hit you, used to do that kind of stuff, abusers see that as a fucking gold mine. They get happy when you say that. It's actually something they want to hear. So unfortunately, um, if you went through a lot of abuse, I'll recommend you not tell the guy in the beginning. I, I, I honestly, because some guys would just are, are looking for weakness. They're looking for weak targets. And one of the easiest ways to find out if somebody's weak is by literally letting them tell you the story. So keep that to yourself. Bring that up a, a few weeks or even a month or two later to garner sympathy. <laughs> like seriously. <laughs> but if you do it in the beginning, a guy who, who's an abuser, their ears will perk up. They're like, oh, really? Oh, oh, he hit you. Okay. And, and, and they're going to say, okay, that's a girl that I could do that to because that's happened in the past. Don't talk about that kind of stuff. Okay. So the third one, by pulling away and seeing your response. This is the simplest one. Guys will literally pull away just to see whether or not you're, you're going to over pursue. Guys will literally pull away just to see whether or not you're going to get emotional or start responding fast. Because to them, it'll show, it'll show signs of weakness. Guys will not respond for a long time to see whether or not you're going to double text. And you guys might say, I, I don't do that kind of stuff. Yeah, okay, when you don't like the guy. But watch a guy that you like all of a sudden start doing this. You're going to start chasing hard. So I don't give a fuck if it's The Rock, if it's, if it's Obama, if it's The Rock. I don't care who it is. If the guy pulls away, either he's testing you, testing, or he's actually not interested. React the same way. Wait, don't fall for it. Don't over pursue. Always go into a relationship assuming that he's going to pull away so that when he does do that, you don't say, oh my God, I don't see, I didn't see it coming, which causes you to lose control. No, say, oh, pfft, that's, what, that's what I expected. Right? Because it's almost like a, 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 a um, practical, practical negativity where you are negative in a rational way, not negative out of reaction to trauma. Get, does that make sense? Um... So yeah, when a guy pulls away, and that means pulling away physically, in terms of you even seeing him, pulling away in terms of how long he takes to respond, pulling away in terms of his emotional presence, like when he's there with you, he's not really showing too much interest, all that kind of stuff. Anytime you feel like he's pulling away in the beginning, just let him be. Let him be. You're not ruining it. You're not, you're not letting him walk away. Motherfuckers are not stupid. They know what, you're, what they're doing. Um, four, by hurting you in small ways and seeing your reaction. Okay? So what they'll do is that they'll inflict pain. Okay? They'll try to gaslight you to see whether or not, or, or, or they'll cancel a date to see how, how you're going to respond. Um, they'll be late to see how you're going to respond. Um, they'll, call, they'll, they'll, they'll name call you or even hit you to see whether or not you'll pull away. They're testing to see what are the limits. It's almost like when you have a, a new teacher, a new substitute teacher at school. Kids will test that substitute teacher to see whether or not they, they can get away with things. Okay? So that's why I say find out the smallness of disrespect. And from the beginning, call it out. Because again, people naturally will try to people will naturally try to control every circumstance. Humans are always looking for power. When I say power, I mean simple control. That means 
Power in terms of being a good basketball player and controlling the flow of the game. Power in terms of um, 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 controlling your emotions at the flick of the switch, right? All of those things are different forms of power that people crave because serotonin, the neurochemical that you feel when you get respect, is stimulated when somebody respects you. And some people associate complete submission with power, right? So what they'll want to do, they can't just start abusing you, hitting you, or even just physic or even uh, emotionally abusing you. They first got to see whether or not you are you are the right victim, right? So what they'll look for, they'll look for a target who's bored. They'll look for a target who doesn't have a life. They'll look for a target who doesn't have much things to do, who's isolated, who doesn't have a lot of family. Um, they'll look for a target who has emotional traumas of the past, drug addictions, all that kind of stuff. And what they'll do is that they'll try to hurt you to see if you tolerate it, to see your pain tolerance, how much you're willing to tolerate from them. And if you forgive them without calling them out and making them pay a price, their mouth are just going to start salivating. They're going to say, I found my victim. And you're communicating that because you're not willing to stand up for yourself. You don't know your boundaries. You don't know what's respect and disrespect because you're so used to those boundaries being broken from the start. Okay? So you have to be very difficult in the beginning. Tolerate nothing. As small as it is, call it out, nip it in the butt, let him know you're not that person. Because what will happen is, like I said earlier, if he notices from the beginning you're not somebody to play with, a lot of times they'll leave. Because they're not there to love, they're there to hurt. And the last one is, they, they'll test how gullible you are. Like I said in my previous videos, a, a man's responsibility is to, lie to, is, is to lie about his value. Think about it from a man's perspective. I need to pass on my genes. I'm not a high value guy, but I need to pass on my genes. Most guys are not high value. So the guys who are able, who are low value, but are able to pass on their genes are good liars. And so natural selection promotes whatever gets you to pass on your genes, even if it's lying. So a guy's job is to, it, literally guys are designed to lie. I mean, it's just, it's just that simple. I'm generalizing, but you get what I'm trying to say. So their job is to lie about their value, and your job is to identify false advertisement. Be able to identify when guys are lying about what their values are. So gullibleness, believing everything you see, is the worst trait you can have as a woman. So a guy will see whether or not you're gullible. And one of the things that they will try to do is they'll lie to you. They'll give you bullshit excuses. Or, or they'll see how much you like them and how much cognitive bias you have towards them. And it goes back to the last things that I say. They'll try to test you by being late, by giving you bullshit excuses, um, um, by telling you they love you and then being, and, and, and then and, and by telling you you're the only one for me and then, and then disappearing for a few days. And unfortunately, a lot of women are gullible because they choose to be gullible, not because it's in your DNA. And that's because you like them so much that you're willing to believe the bullshit. You pretty much make yourself gullible because you want this to work out so much. So you believe the lies. You lie to yourself through him lying to you because you know he's lying. You just like him. And when a guy finds out you're a gullible man, like it's, it's first of all, he doesn't respect you. He thinks you're a child. When, when somebody's gullible, you don't respect them. You see them as a, as a, as a, as a, as a, it's almost like you see them as a fucking, like, as a child. Like, you see them as a child. How can you respect somebody who's so gullible? And because, like I said before, I remember I had a girl a few, a few years ago, a few, not even a few years ago, it was last year, where we had, you know, she would come over, give Father Alex to be, to be very polite, some sloppy toppy. If you don't know what sloppy toppy is, I'm not going to tell you what the fuck that is. And one time she was, you know, she was, she was, you know, doing the thing. And then I was talking on the phone and sometimes she would let me, I was talking on the phone and sometimes she just lets me talk on the phone. Okay. And, and I was talking to a girl and she called me randomly. I thought it was going to be like, uh, like from my job or something, but she called me. I was like, who's this? 
hey, it's me, Melissa, from tonight. Oh, hey. Oh, shit, I didn't know it was you. Right? She just called me from a different number. She was asking me, are you free tonight? And I was like, yeah, sure, let's hang out. I didn't know that. I, mean, I would have not called. I would have not picked up if it was her, to be honest with you. And then... <laughs> As I was, as I took an Uber with her back home to her apartment, because I was in my apartment, and I, and I Uber and I got an Uber with her because I needed to go see my aunt because she lived near my aunt. So as, as we were in the Uber, she was like, "The Lexus." And mind you, she says she doesn't speak English, and and I was speaking English. Did you, were you making a date with a girl while I was sucking your dick? And I was like, "What the fuck?" I thought this bitch. I thought I thought she, this girl only spoke Spanish. What the fuck? Like, how the hell she become bilingual now? Like, I was like. Uh, no. She was like, are you sure? I'm like, no, no, no. I swear to God, I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't making a date <laughs> when you were sucking my dick. Why would I ever do that? I mean, come on, girl. She was like, oh, okay. But it's kind of like, when she said, okay, I'm like, damn, girl. I mean, my God, I mean, put up some resistance. When she said okay to that shit, I lost so much respect for her because I knew damn well she knew I was lying. I knew she knew I was lying and she still believed me. How could I respect her? How could I respect her? And the next one is not following through on your threats. Because after that, like I said before, she came over the next day and she was like, I'm not sucking your dick tonight. And I'm like, oh, 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 okay. Oh, you're not. Oh, okay. Okay, and long story short, like I said before, you know what happened, you know, not to be vulgar, but you know, I'll follow her out of, you know, you know. And when she did that, I was like, I lost even more respect for her. Ladies, don't be fucking telling guys you're going to do something and then not do it. Because they're waiting to see whether or not you'll follow through. That is the number one, one of the easiest ways to lose people's respect is not following th through on your threats because it just shows weakness. Remember, people will attack you if they think you're weak. People will attack you if they think you're weak. It's just that simple. And that's a sign of weakness, gullibleness, not following through on your words. You are, you're asking for men to not respect you. You're asking for men to test you. For no reason, you're asking for it. You heard what you said? He said men abuse women because they're asking for it. Well, not entirely. But if you're acting gullible and believing everything people tell you, 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 you're asking for, for manipulators to come into your life. It's just that simple. All right? All right. Anyways, this is Alex Show. Talk to Daniel Coach. If you need to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, go to mindfulattraction.org to work with your boy. Um, uh, follow me on Instagram to soothe my toxic ego, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay toxic, and may the toxic force be with you. All right, ladies. So, finally, I have released my second course for women, which is Natural Chemistry. This course is a five-week course, five-week course where every week you're going to get a new set of videos based on, based on specific issues. The, this course is all about how to create and maintain the attraction in any man. This will help you create love. This will help you deepen the love with your man. This is not about manipulation. This is not about playing games. This is genuine, genuine, natural chemistry. No more short-term partners. No more being fooled. Why? Because I will reveal to you not only how to create attraction in the first week, but also how to understand male nature, how to understand their tricks, how to prevent from being a too attached, signs that he's the wrong guy, signs that he's a narcissist, signs that he's a mama's boy, signs that he's an emotionally available guy, emotionally unavailable guy. We go over everything. We go over the third week, setting boundaries. We go over the third week, controlling your emotions, right? Setting boundaries, fourth week. Fifth week, embracing your masculine and the feminine, right? And on top of that, I come, I have over 10 different bonuses. 10 different bonuses, my Lord have mercy, right? With, with a money back guarantee. The bonus are one. The natural chemistry, over 10 hours of content, right? The breakup formula, how to deal with a breakup, right? The connecting with your man, right? Establishing a life of abundance, social mastery, understanding your dark side, the goal setting seminar, which is about how to set and achieve goals, practical mastery that will teach you how to master anything, the laws of human nature. I will come, that I have a book club for the laws of human nature with over four hours of content, right? The Transformational Seminar in a Pocket, which is my mindfulness seminar, and the Chase Audiobook. This is a this originally is $1,800, but you get it starting at $97, ladies and gentlemen, right? 
$97. We have different packages, but all of this starts at $97. And you know what? You can check it out for free if you want. Yeah, for all the freeloaders, I have free videos just for you. Free videos, all right? So you can just check it out for free, and then you can get out. Nothing wrong with that, all right? So, and on top of that, it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. No questions asked. That's right. No questions asked. I don't mind. I just want you guys to check it out because I know when you take one look, you're going to want to buy it. I can promise you. Just like my other course, um, the psychological the psychological game of attraction, it was a hit. You're going to love this one. This one is not about manipulation. This is genuine natural chemistry. Order it now. All right? I'll see you guys inside. Peace out.